things um, because my weeks are very, or during the week, I'm really busy with working and home life and the kids. And so, um, but in between them, I am working on different ways to support you all, my community of single mothers, and other things that I'm working on as well um, that are outside this group, but I think will be very beneficial to you as well. Um, and so I'm jumping on this Sunday. I, it's a little later than I wanted, but I got some meal prepping done and um, just some work here in my office. And so I wanted to come on and say hello, and I hope you all are having a great week. Um, we have some new members this week, and for the life of me, I cannot figure out how to do a welcome post on Facebook. Uh, maybe one of you all know. I Googled it. I YouTubed it. How to write a Facebook welcome post, and I'm following the directions and instructions, and I cannot figure it out um, because what, it's, what it shows like on Facebook on how to tag like your new members. I, I couldn't find that. Um, so not only am I posting today and doing this live video, but it's also a welcome video, welcome post for all the new members this week. Um, so thank you for joining. And as our community grows and we add new members, um, I will do this often, but I wanna welcome you and say thank you for joining. Um, let me see, we do have a new member who's watching right now, Bobby T. Abita. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, thank you for joining and thank you for watching. Type in where you're coming from. Um, I tried to look it up, but we're not friends on Facebook and so it wouldn't show me where you are, but I'd love to know where you're watching from. Um, I'm in California, so I'm in Los Angeles, California. Um, it is Sunday about 4.20 in the evening, so please do type in and let us know where you're watching from. Um, so I wanted to talk about today a few things. Um, I found a staggering statistic about single mothers, and um, it is for the U.S., but I'm sure that in other places, I'm not going to say every other country, but I will say, I feel safe to say that in a lot of countries, um, in households that are single parent households, it is the single mother that is the single parent. And here in the U.S., out of about 11 million, let me look at my statistic, yes, about 11 million um, single parent households, 80% of them were single mothers. And that number like really stood out to me. What it made me think of is, is that, wow, like that's a, a, an outstanding number that, um, you know, how, how many single parent households there are, um, but that 80% of them are single mothers. And part of me was surprised, but part of me wasn't because I'm, I wasn't surprised because I think as a single mom, like, I mean, how could we leave our kids, right? For different reasons, I think that, you know, there are some of the single fathers out there, um, you know, there are different reasons. I mean, there are women that don't raise their children. There's women that, you know, can't raise their children for whatever reason. Um, and so that would create a single, single father household. But, you know, 80% of households that are single parents, single mothers, um, I wasn't surprised. And I know that when I became single, um, there was no question that my children were coming with me. And it wasn't a matter of how hard my daily life was going to be, how much work I was going to have to do, um, you know, just the, the, the mental, the emotional stress of being a single parent in the house. All that didn't matter to me because there was no question that I wasn't going to have my children with me either half the time or most of the time. And for my case, um, it turned out most of the time that I had my children with me most of the time. Um, yes. So, sorry, can you interrupt the journey one more? Um, but with that number, I thought, you know, one of the things that I hope to achieve with this group is that, you know, building a community of single mothers and how we can support each other. And so what I wanted to do was list some jobs that are like, like the top 10 jobs that single mothers can do. And one thing that I'm working on is I am trying to build a business to work from home because um, I don't, 
I, I hope and pray that shortly I don't have to leave my home to make money. And so these are jobs that number one, you can do it from in the house or as a single mother, it's an easier job to do. And I think that's really important that if you're a single mom, you get to make money and stay home. Like how awesome is that? So being a virtual assistant, um, something that I'm looking into actually is getting a virtual assistant. Um, tech savvy thing is not my thing, but um, if you're a virtual assistant, that means you can stay home, you have to find time, yes, to work online and, you know, but you know, you're not doing like a whole lot of live things. It's kind of like back of the house things for um, somebody that you might be a virtual assistant to. So the little baby coming in your way, grabbing on you, pulling on you, having to stop for something probably wouldn't, you know, inter um, interfere too much with your job or like me right now with my crying baby in the background, right? If you're doing back of the house virtual assistant. Um, social, social media manager. Um, I will say as I'm trying to build my business, doing all the things for social media are time consuming and tedious. And I'm definitely not at the level yet to where I need like a social media manager or a virtual assistant. Um, you know, one day I hope to be, but I'm not there yet. But when I'm at that point, it'll be nice to be able to just like put certain loads on people and provide income for somebody else. Um, and those are two jobs for sure that you can do from home. Um, and it's kind of back in the house so you won't be interrupted with your children, you know, whatever it may be to where they interrupt your job. So, cause I know definitely the job that I do now, number one, it's outside of the house, but I couldn't have my children there. It just wouldn't work. Um, I work in a law enforcement setting and um, having kids there is, it would, wouldn't work, right? Um, so being a graphic designer, a phone interviewer, and a blogger or data entry clerk. These are all jobs that you can do from home, make money with, with little training, and you'll be at home with your children. Um, and I think that that's really important. That's what's kind of been driving me this, um, this past almost year now and how I'm building my businesses. Um, is that I want to be home with my children and I don't want to work outside the house anymore. So finding different ways to make money from within my house is one of my main goals. Um, and so that's what I've been working on. So, um, so to add to this video in terms of giving you some, you know, maybe some tips on jobs that you could look into. And these were just Google searches that I did um, along with my statistics was just another Google search. Um, I wanna talk about some things that I'm working on because this year for me is a year of transformation. And I know as single moms that going through transformation is something that number one, it's super hard. Number two, even if we choose to do it, sometimes we don't have a choice to do it. When you go from having a partner in the house to not having a partner in the house, that transformation is something that you don't have control over, but you're going through it anyway. Um, for me, my transformation this year is working on things on businesses and things that I'm interested in on how to stay home. And I found this great lady that I watch on a daily basis. Um, she does have Facebook groups. She has YouTube channels. Um, her name is Martha Krejci, K-R-E-J-C-I, Martha Krejci. And she has wonderful free content on YouTube on, um, you know, on how to build businesses from home. And it's like, I started watching her and I realized like, wow, I have a lot to offer somebody um, or a community and how I can make money from serving my community. And so with that, I've just been adding and building and adding and building. Um, so if you're new to the group, I do have other Facebook groups. Um, I have a Facebook group that is all about essential oils called Aroma Life. Um, so if you've ever heard about essential oils, you've been interested in essential oils, you have questions about essential oils, go ahead and hop on that page, Aroma Life. Um, find me. It has about 95 members now, which it has grown. I'm super excited about that. Um, so I have my Aroma Life page. 
I have this page, uh, Resilient and Thriving Single Moms, and then I also have an Instagram page called Aroma Life LA. And I have lots of quick tips and information on essential oils, um, crystals, crystal jewelry, and essential oil rollers, and different things that I make. So that's one way that I have kind of um, upped my level because I used essential oils for about eight years now, but I never really made a business out of it. I never really incorporated it into how I was gonna serve my community. And so that's what prompted me to start my Facebook group and start Instagram and um, you know share different ways to um, with what I'm passionate about, which is definitely crystals and essential oils. Um, and then where I came from, and that's being a single mom, my oldest is 26 years old. And for the past 20 years, I've been a single parent. Um, I'm not anymore, but that doesn't mean that for the 20 years that I was a single parent, that, that I don't have valuable information to share. So, um, so that's how I'm serving my community and that's how I'm growing and transforming is that um, I realize that I have a lot to offer. And so as you watch this, being a single mother, being in your home, you may have a career outside the home, but I highly encourage you to start watching Martha Krejci because she's wonderful and has great free information. Um, and start thinking about ways that how you can serve others from a heart-centered place. Um, and it might bring you income, or I, I know it will bring you income. I never thought that because I use essential oils and wear crystals that I could start building an income from it. And it is a small, um, it's a small process. But you know what? This week I I made almost sixty dollars. Um, you know, between my crystals and my oils, that's sixty more dollars that I have, right? And so, and I am putting a lot of time and effort into my web page. Um, so if you go on my Facebook page, um, Aroma Life, um, it will show you or lead you to my website. But if you can't figure that out, my website is aromalifela.com. Um, and there I talk about this group, crystals, oils, um, and I'm still under construction is what I'd like to say about my website. But with it, I will be adding courses and content and everything. Um, and so that's another way that I am transforming and building. And lastly, what I learned was, and something that I chose to do because I do use my oils, is my aroma freedom technique. Um, and if you've never heard of aroma freedom, I hadn't either till last year because it is a very new technique, although it uses essential oils, which have been around for you know thousands of years. But aroma freedom is a technique that clears out negative thoughts, feelings, and memories using essential oils. So anybody who's watching this, if you're interested in Aroma Freedom um, essential oils, go ahead and reach out to me. I'll send you a free sample or um, like a, um, it is a sample, but I'll send you what we need to do the technique. And I'm offering a free 30 minute session um, and I'll send you the oils that you need if you don't have them. Um, and I think that for any single mother, because we're so busy and tired and emotionally and mentally going through things that Aroma Freedom would be great for you. Aroma Freedom would help you. And anytime I need to emotionally reset, I use my essential oils, I use my Aroma Freedom. Um, and so that's another way that I have incorporated serving my community for you ladies. Um, and so I'm just super excited, um, but I wanted to hop on today because that is my goal to hop on here every weekend um, and to share, you know, have a conversation, share new information, whatever topic I've decided to talk about. And, um, and so, yeah, so join my other pages, Aroma Life LA, which is my Instagram. Aroma Life is another Facebook page. And if you want to check out my uh, my website, that's aromalifela.com. And, um, and there's more great information there. So again, so thank you for watching. I hope you have a great Sunday. 
Um, stay blessed and strong, my resilient and thriving single mothers. Remember, you are not alone. The whole point of this community is to support each other, guide each other, ask questions, and get resources, friendships, and all of what is needed and incorporated into being a sing single mother and um, having a, a, you know, a stable household, because <laughs> sometimes being a single mom is crazy. So have a blessed Sunday, have a blessed evening, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.